think he threw three interceptions against New England. And he sat him down. He goes, look, playing quarterback in this league is a lot more than big plays. It's controlling the ball. Don't give it away. And he said that really helped with that seven months of just pure training that he did, sort of changing that throwing motion of his. And he's feeling pretty good right now. Talk about the depth on this team, and you saw a shot of Mitch Trubisky, former Bears quarterback, who was the number two pick overall back in 17. Didn't work out in Chicago. They got, you know, you need depth at all positions. And I mean, if, if it came to the point where you needed a backup quarterback, he's a pretty good one. Yeah, and, and Trubisky is the same style, right? You could see Trubisky doing the hurdle run tonight that we saw out of Josh Allen. So they've got very similar styles at the quarterback position. Having said all that, there's a lot of people in Buffalo hoping that he never plays it down and that Josh Allen just rolls to that MVP you were talking about. Hope he comes in with garbage time. Garbage meaning they've already won the game. They could put him in right now, but why, why do it? A couple of kneel downs will end it. Andy Reid will get his troops back on the practice field this week trying to figure things out Michelle with the stars of the game so talk to Josh of course look ahead to next Sunday's game in Pittsburgh between the Seahawks and the Steelers and the Buffalo Bills you know everybody's talking about a statement game whatever you, know, you make a statement one week and then the next week you, you look terrible but for what it's worth Pretty impressive tonight on every level. These guys are the Chargers. Who do you like? Oh boy, you know it's a good question right now. Two hot quarterbacks, aren't they? Unreal, I know. Meanwhile, the Chargers with four wins, Kansas City with two, so the Chargers already have the tie break. Buffalo now would have, in effect, a three-game lead over Kansas City if they wind up going to the the playoffs in, in the conference. It's a long way down the line, of course, but, you know, just talking about. Meanwhile, you got two guys right there, Spagnolo and McDermott, who were on the same staff with Andy Reid back in the early 2000s in Philadelphia. So, 38-20 is our final Sunday Night Football postgame show after these messages from your NBC station.